The Prince and Princess of Wales are paying a surprise visit to Northern Ireland today as part of a day-long trip to the region. William and Kate will fulfill a number of engagements with cross-community organizations that provide support to people from all backgrounds, and said on Twitter it is wonderful to be back in Northern Ireland. They began with a visit to suicide prevention charity Pips in North Belfast. Lord Mayor Tina Black and Sinn Féin MP for the constituency John Finnegan were among those who welcomed the royal couple on arrival. Inside, 12-year-old Elise Quinn, the daughter of the charity's executive director Renee Quinn, presented the princess with a bouquet of flowers. Pips was founded in 2003 following the loss of 14 young people to suicide in Belfast over a short period of time the previous year. Compelled to act, stakeholders from across the city came together to try to tackle the issue. During their visit, William and Kate, who dressed in a pale blue blouse and coat, spoke with staff about their work helping people at risk of suicide and self-harm. The charity also arranged for them to take part in an art therapy session, painting pumpkins, with some vulnerable children who have been supported by PIPS. Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, the organization has seen a significant rise in those reaching out for help. That includes an increase of more than 500% among young people. At the close of their visit, the prince and princess were invited to join a group of volunteer counselors in packing up the charity's little boxes of hope. The support packages are given to children following their time with PIPS to assist their ongoing recovery and ensure that their parents and guardians feel better equipped to cope. It's been a busy few days for the royal couple, with both carrying solo engagements yesterday linked to causes close to their hearts. Kate was at the Royal Surrey County Hospital where she tenderly cradled a newborn baby during a surprise visit to the maternity unit where she met mothers and their infants. Kate also met with staff from the Jasmine Team, which helps women affected by mental health illnesses during pregnancy and the initial postnatal period. Elsewhere, William visited St George's Park, the National Football Centre for England, in his role as President of the FA, to mark the centre's 10th anniversary. Early years care will continue to be Kate's major focus in her role as the Princess of Wales, and her visit was part of a series by the royal couple this week to showcase their continuing key interests.